Devolver Direct. 22 minutes. All right. Devolver. For generations of gamers, this is where it all began. The cultural icon of the gaming industry. More influential than any pop star or politician. The most famous video game mascot of all time. Fuck. Devolver Digital's very own Volvi. You know him as the star of all your favorite Devolver games. But where did Volvi come from? Many what? years ago, Devolver Digital hired little-known designer Ronathan Trotfield and tasked him with creating a character that could rival the big names of the day. You have to remember, we were trying to compete with the heavy hitters. Bonk, Gex, Awesome Possum, <laughs> Arrow the Acro, Bad. And this was no small task. Uh, yeah, we spent a few years on it, but... Oh, man. To be honest, I don't really remember drawing it. I remember Ronathan <laughs> okay. showing us that final design. It was a beautiful moment. That face, those smart brown shoes, and of course, the master stroke. His one big hand. For gaming? I'd just never seen a character with a hand that big. We knew straight away we had something special. <laughs> what Volvi the fuck? was introduced to the world in his first solo game, Field Run, which went on to become a cult hit. We were seeing the sales numbers going up and up. We couldn't believe it. The demand for the character was insane. I think it's supposed to be a rat. And so Volvi went on to star in a string of hit Devolver titles. Hotline Miami. Volvi. Cult of the Lamb. Greece from Nomada. <laughs> Ape House. What? My friend Pedro. Piku Niku. Enter the Gungeon. The list goes on and on. Volvi's popularity had skyrocketed. He was an icon, not just for video games, but pop culture in general. The Volvi merchandise was flying off the shelves. I'm talking clothing, toys, and even a range of what we called legally edible snack foods. Yeah! Volvi's mystery bite. <laughs> okay. the riddle? Join Volvi and try to figure out what's in your mouth. <laughs> We're confusing to taste. The tastes and trends are fickle. And as the years went by, kids began to want different things from their video game mascots. We saw the way the market was changing, and we made the difficult decision to part ways with Ronathan. We had no choice. We needed to keep Volvi relevant. It's Volvi 2.0 in the new game from Devolver Digital. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the big cheeky smile. I don't need your permission to eat a meat burger. Even <laughs> the big hand for gaming. In favor of something what with more fuck? attitude. Guess what? I have an earache and I don't care. It's graffiti time. Looking back on it, maybe we went too far. Volvi 2.0 performed poorly and the character began a slow but steady decline. So... We made the decision to quietly discontinue the Volvi franchise. It felt like I was losing a family member. Well, a, a distant family member, but it was still quite horrible. And, um... Uh, nobody has seen him since. Until now. Good evening, good evening. And thank you all for coming to a very, very special night. I'm your host, Chris Jake. And you heard it right, folks. Loud person. I am so proud to present the launch event for the reboot, rebirth, and return of the world's greatest video game mascot, Volvo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, settle down, please, because it gets even better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Valdi's original creator, 
Rodathan. Trophy. Come on, Rod. Yes. Wow. Oh, my goodness, Rod. What a moment. You are looking fantastic. Please tell me, bro. How do you feel right now on this momentous day? Very nice. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. That, that is amazing. And I, for one, cannot wait to see what you and the team at Devolver have come up with. So, uh, what do you say? You want to see him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, may I present to you the new and improved Volve E! Whoa! What the fuck? Oh my god, he is back! Incredible! But how does he work? I'm glad you asked, Chris. Well, we've taken the heart and soul of what made Ronathan's character so lovable, but we've given him a very important new update. <laughs> With the latest advances in both biotech and machine learning, Volve E fuses the DNA of a real vol with today's most powerful AI technology. That's impressive. Yeah. In short, Vol E can instantly generate brand new, fully playable games based on simple prompts by the player. Simple prompts, you say? That's right. The consumer no longer has to wait for a bunch of slow programmers and stinky developers to be inspired. <laughs> no. They can use Volve E to play what they want, when they want. Here, uh, let me show you. Hey there, Volve E. <laughs> Generate a game for me. No, nah, that's cursed. One that, oh, I don't know, is a cooperative survival sandbox, but with wizards. <laughs> okay, this is kind of... Listen, I like this way of introducing the games. This is funny. I'll tell you a tale. There they stood. Six alone, the hunter, the maker, and the wild swamp zone. The young chief rising and a weaver of bone. Remember, remember, the gate was thrown wide, the horror inside. The riders drew iron, there was nowhere to hide. Before it was done, our heroes, yes, everyone, they fell and died. Unlucky. It's up to you now, kid. Oh, here we go. It's like, don't starve. Someone's at the door. Hang on one second. Where's my phone? Beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse. Beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse. Beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse. Beach. Mouse, beach, beach, mouse.
All right. Sorry, my brother-in-law's here. He's helping basically screw a bunch of stuff up in Viki's room. Uh, let me finish this. Wizard with a gun. That's literally the name of it. Incredible. So wait a minute. Are you saying that game was entirely generated by Valve E? No one has to spend any time or effort making it? Correct. There was no <laughs> real creative process at all. Just Valve E and his wonderful machine learning. <laughs> Huh. Oh, no. Well, that's a good question, actually. Uh, well, each prompt and game idea has to be digested by Volve E's powerful system. And so, inevitably, there are some waste byproducts. Uh, so, back to the games. Um, do you mean to say that anyone can give via prompt even I don't know me <laughs> sure Chris uh, see for yourself oh okay I'm nervous now <laughs> hi Baldi <laughs> Chris Jane I'm a huge fan of the Talos principle so I'd like to see something like that but with new puzzles a grander story and big, beautiful worlds to roam around. Oh, and I'd like to see that gameplay right about now. I can't help but notice that many of these structures are not strictly functional. There's a sense of aesthetics of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us, but perhaps there's more to it than that. Oh, snap. What are we being tested for? Our worth? Curiosity? Our persistence? Tetris pieces? Is it just their symbolic value? Because the thing about puzzles is that they can be solved. I don't know how Bobby made a game so fast. That was so impressive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now that looks like the kind of game I could really spend my disposable income on. Thanks, Balby. Yes. And what happened to his big pen? Uh -huh. And the best part is that to create a game with Valve E, you don't need any game experience or uh, any of that tech stuff. <laughs> Who here hasn't dreamt of creating their own game? I have. Right? I, I have. You there. Be careful. Uh, no, please, please, be careful. Oh, sorry, I'm just, I'm such a 
I'm a big fan. I've been playing with Baldi ever since I was a kid. All right. So, do you have a game idea you'd like Bald E to generate? Uh, okay. Um, how about a super weird walking simulator where you control the character's legs independently from his body? Maybe there's some guys in horses' heads and possibly there's even a mountain? Right. Um, but let's see, Baldi. What could you rustle us up? Don't touch me. <laughs> Nate! Nate! Nate, buddy, family meeting, let's go. Are you bringing him food again? I, honey, not we right now. We talked about this. Not right now, You are okay? literally killing him with these pizzas. You he, just want to throw him out on the street? No, I'm not, I, he's 35. I want him to have some kind of discipline. Yeah, so, discipline. Nate, if you can hear my oh, voice, no. I want you to come up here and we're having a family meeting. <laughs> Oh no. Already angry. <laughs> nice. Oh, can you not? I, uh, d uh, it's just I uh, didn't. Yeah, let's go back in time to when you didn't. No, I, I was just trying to k catch it with my eyes. Uh, sorry, with your foot. Using my... yeah, you tried to catch it. I saw it was starting to go, and I just tried you to... You just kicked. You thought, I'll give it a good kick no, to counteract the fall. Yeah, I was just trying to steady it. I might have over... Yeah, you might, you might I, have. I, I yeah, over... You might have, you might have over-steadied yeah, it. No, it was just a little over-steadied. Well, it's not steady now. No, I, well... See you later. So, uh... Wanker. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of like the getting over it like copycat games but that looks pretty good this is quap right any of the intellectual property and you still have to buy it okay give her a big hand brilliant that I know it's made by the creator of getting over it Let's give Valvi something really special here. What's up, guys? Hey, yo! Hey, how we doing? Guys, I am watching live. Now, can I just say, what you were doing out there, incredible. I could not be more excited to be part of whatever this is. And thank you. We're all massive fans of your influencing. What sort of prompt would you like to give Valve E here? Okay, try this, Volvi. A much anticipated sequel to a hilarious online co op game. Just more gameplay, more levels, just better all around. Okay, Valvi, show them what you got. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, it's human fall flat. Two. Is it not going to show anything else? Fall flat two. I know I'd love to get my hands on a copy of that. Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> yeah, come on. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Now that you have all met the new and improved Volve E, it's time for him to meet with you as we connect him to Devolver's global network of gamers. Yeah, that's right, come on! Once connected, his powerful technology will be an open source tool free for us all to use. Wow, that is generous. Here, 
we go! Oh my god. Oh my god. Inscription? The hot dog? That was really good. It was the only way. Damn it. All right, let me see if there's anything else here. The esports games at the Olympics actual announcement. Have you ever thought about becoming an Olympic esports player? Or even better, a winner? Okay, listen up, because this is your chance to challenge yourself and show the world you have what it takes. So you're invited to enter the Olympic Esports Series 2023. There are nine virtual sport events. Archery, baseball, chess, cycling, taekwondo, tennis, sailing, dance, and motorsport. And there are open qualification <coughs> rounds in archery, baseball, tennis, sailing, and motorsports, where the winners have the opportunity to progress to the live finals. The final will be in Singapore during the first Olympic Esports Week 2023 from the 22nd to the 25th of June. So what are you waiting for? Enter the arena now. Okay, and then what is this? Olympic Esports is a joke. Instead of having traditional competitive esport games like League of Legends, CSGO, and Overwatch, the IOC decided to take a different approach to their Olympic Esports and have an absolute joke of a lineup. There's no Mortal Kombat, there's no Counter-Strike, there's no League of Legends, there's nothing. It's Wii Sports. There are no actual esports titles, excluding Gran Turismo, and I guess you can sort of count chess? But all of the games are not what we were expecting. Tic-Tac-Bow for archery? Virtual Regatta? Oh, and you can't forget about Virtual Taekwondo. We're really scratching our heads wondering why Just Dance is considered an Olympic esport, while real games like StarCraft and League of Legends were excluded. Which of these titles do you think is most ridiculous? <laughs> okay, so this actually happened.
All right, is there any other expos to look at? I think it was like one more. Uh, da, 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 da. PC gaming show. All right. 